Hello everyone. Today, facelifts. There are a whole host of facelifts out there with different names, different techniques, different incisions, and it's a real, it's a difficult one. What do I need? What should I go for? What don't I need? So what I'm going to try and do today is I'm going to try and clarify the scenario for you. Okay, so let's start with a bit of anatomy. On your face, you've got skin. Underneath the skin, you've got some fat. And then underneath that, you have the SMAS. This is the superficial musculoaponeurotic system. Doctors always have ridiculously long words for everything. So we've shortened it to SMAS. This is the bit that we need to lift, okay? So what we do is we lift your skin, we go in and we lift your SMAS, okay? The skin is attached to the underlying structures of your face, both bony and otherwise, by adhesions. And they're like ligaments. You have some under your eyes, you have some across your cheekbones, you have some here called the masseteric ligament, some here called the mandibular ligament. They're relevant because they are points where the skin is fixed to the face. And as a result of that, everything between those points sags. So for example, you have a masseteric ligament and a mandibular ligament, and everything sags in the middle, and that's what gives you a jowl. It all comes down. So we're aware of where these points are, and so we're also aware of how to get things to come up. Okay, incisions. What sort of incision is available? What sort of incision should we have? Well, the big and the short is, is really where it's at. There are people who say they can do a short scar and people who do a longer scar. Let's just talk about dressmaking for a second. If you want to put a pleat into a dress, you need a dart to get that pleat to come out. The bigger the pleat, the longer the dart. How high you lift the face is the pleat. So how long the dart, which is the incision, is, is dependent on how high you lift the face. So the higher the face gets lifted, the longer the scar is. It's as simple as that, because it's at the risk of sounding simplistic, it's dressmaking in that, in that context. So that's your incision. They can be in front of the hairline or within the hairline. We'll talk about that another day. That's a bit too complicated. That's probably a surgeon talk, not a patient talk. We then come to inside. What are we doing with the SMAS? We are lifting mobile SMAS and attaching it to a fixed point. That is a facelift in a nutshell. Whether they call it a MAC lift, a SMAS lift, a SMAS plication, a SMASectomy, whatever they call it, that is what is being done. You are lifting mobile SMAS and attaching it to a fixed point. So you raise it. Okay, let's look at the neck. You will either get sagging skin on the neck or you won't. You will either have excess fat on the neck or you won't. And you may have some bands on the neck where the, where the muscles split apart. That's your anatomy of what's going on. We've done incisions. If all you have is a little bit of jowling and nothing else, you will probably get away with a mini facelift or a one stitch facelift or whether they, whatever they want to call it with a relatively short scar. If you've got your nasolabial folds folding over and you've got quite a lot of loose skin but your neck is fine, you're going to need a longer incision, a longer dissection and a full facelift. If the, the neck is sagging, you're going to need a facelift and a neck lift. If the muscles are split apart, they're going to need repairing. And if you have a whole load of excess fat here, you may need a little bit of liposuction, a little bit being the operative thing. We don't want to take away reams of it. So that's facelifting in a nutshell. How long the scar is, is dependent on how much you're going to lift. If you've just got a little bit of jowling, a mini lift. If the whole face needs doing, a full face lift. With the neck, if the muscles are split, they need repairing. If you've got a lot of excess fat, you liposuck it. And if you've got loose skin, you make sure you lift the whole face and the neck. I hope that demystifies the facelift for you. Happy hunting. Take care. Bye-bye.